As local as local news gets. News 12, The Bronx. Well, many of you may be familiar with the Castle Hill section of the borough, right? But what about an actual castle neatly resting on top of a hill? Castle Hill. News 12's Brittany Miller takes us inside the treasured property that's now up for sale. Nestled on top of this rocky Riverdale Hill is what some may call a diamond in the rough. A 5,100 square foot 16th century castle. And once you open the 11 foot tall, 3 inch thick antique oak doors, you'll find nothing but modern amenities. Now, though the home was built decades ago, Alec Diaku, chairman of the nonprofit organization Yes the Bronx, says he just had to buy the six bedroom, four and a half bath home, so he put up $1.8 million for the property. It is a gem, and that's why I spent two and a half years restoring it. And a couple of years and around $1.5 million worth of renovations later, he has a $3.6 million castle fully equipped with turrets, handcrafted floors, and a grand chef's kitchen all ready for purchase. This is the living room. And while selling is a priority, Diaco says he wants the castle to serve as a tool to rebrand the borough, getting rid of negative stereotypes. The vast majority of people would prefer not to know about um, the natural resources that we have here. Now, when it comes to big projects, this castle, it only scratches the surface. Diaku tells me he and, yes, the Bronx are currently working on an observation tower that will allow everyone to overlook the entire borough. In Riverdale, I'm Brittany Miller, News 12, the Bronx. If you'd like to check out the castle yourself, you can find it at 4720 Grosvenor Avenue. Brittany Miller did not buy that castle. Mike <laughs> Stacy Ann Gooden. Yeah, she was like really, really tempted, I'm sure. It's just gorgeous. I just love a few that million kind of dollars. Thing. What's that? Yeah, right? what's, what's happening in her back pocket? Come on. Yeah, of course. <laughs>